Question number 5. On 1st April 2013, the balance of provision for doubtful debts was 13,000. Okay. This is opening provision. Imagine how this will appear usually in trial balance. Opening provision for doubtful debts should appear in the credit side, 13,000. The bad debt during the year 13 and 14 were 9,500. Sunday debtors uh, as on 31st March 2014 stood at rupees 3 lakhs 25,000. Right. So, debtors in the debit side of the trial balance will show 3 lakhs 25,000. And bad debt in the debit side of the trial balance will be 9,500. Out of these debtors, 2500 are bad and cannot be realized. It means still further 2500 will be the bad debt. Might have been given in the adjustment, isn't it? So, bad debt given in the adjustment being 2500. The provision for bad and doubtful debt is to be raised to 5 percentage on certain debtors. So, PDD to be raised here being. 5% on sundry debtors. What we have to do? For the bad debt, we have to pass transfer entry. For the bad debt, given in the adjustment, we have to pass the adjustment entry and then transfer entry. These two transfers happens routed through the PDD account and this will be created. This will be created. Is that okay? Now, the entry for bad debt adjustment entry. Bad debt account debit. Bad debt account debit. To debtors. The amount supposed to be created here is this one. Adjustment entry. 2500 over. Second entry is all about transfer entry. While transferring, we have two items here to be transferable, so I am clapping these two. That will be routed through PDD only, no? So, while using the PDD, I am going to debit it. So, PDD account debit means usage or use. Too bad debt, too bad debt. The value in bad debt being 9500 plus 2500, 12,000 rupees, 12,000 rupees. But we have the PDD of rupees 13,000. We have the PDD of rupees 13,000. Surplus 1,000 can be transferred about the PNL account, right? To PNL account. 1,000 can be transferred. How much of the PDD you have to maintain now? The PDD required to be maintained here is 5 percentage on the data available by the time. So, PNL account debit to PDD. Created, created. As per the trial balance, the uh, data is being 3,25,000. Because of the first gel entry, this year's uh, bad debt 2,500 is subtracted. The ultimate value being 3,22,500, only realizable after the bad debt given in the adjustment. On that, 5 percentage will be created. See the 16125 to be created. 16125 to be created. Is that okay? 16125 to be created. See, the other way of posting sometimes may be given in the text like this. Rather than transferring the PNL account, here we write this as 12. Here we adjust only 15. That way also it may be posted. That's how it's given in the text. You can verify that also later. Right. Pass necessary gel entries for bad debt and its provisions. We have done that. Prepare the necessary ledger account. So we can uh, prepare the ledger account for uh, debtors, PDD, bad debt for these three. For these three. And show the relevant items in the PNL account and balance sheet. Okay.
Hope you are able to read this. So I am going to open all the concern ledger. Okay. Data's account. Data's account. Bad debt account. Bad debt account. Provision for doubtful debt account. And uh, how this will appear in the PNL account and balance sheet. Okay. From here it's the final accounts, right? PDV given in the trial balance 13,000. In the credit side, no, it will go to the credit side of the PDV account opening balance. This balance being 13,000. Debtors being the debit balance, I'll start with the opening balance in the debit side. 3 lakhs 25,000. Bad debt should be in the bad debt's debit side. Opening balance. 9,000 find. Because of these adjustments, we have passed the adjustment into S plus transfer into I'm going to incorporate that here. Bad debt. In bad debt, two debtors. Two debtors. This value being 2,000 find. In debtors, by bad debt, by bad debt, the value being 2,000 find. In PDD, two bad debt. Two bad debt, twelve thousand. Then to P and the account one thousand. So we have to post these two. In bad debt account by PDD, by PDD, the value being twelve thousand. In P and the account, in P and the account, thousand should be in the credit side PDD. And in P and the account, 16125 should be in the debit side. PDD. Otherwise, I can neutralize these two. Am I right? 15125. Isn't it? 15125. I am neutralizing that. Clear? And here I have PDD being 16125 in PDD by P and the account. By P and Lacon 16125. Already here is 1000, so we can neutralize that one also if you want, or you can post that way also, no problem. That so 15125. Or I am able to make the adjustment here itself. So the P and Lacon 1000 is eliminated 12,000. In credit side, we have eliminated 1000. No, in debit side also, we have to eliminate the same extent 15125. 15125. Similarly, in PDD, it's not 16125, it's only 15125. So, what did I do? I have eliminated 1000 rupees from the PDD debit side as well as credit side. I have eliminated 1000 rupees in PN account in the debit and credit side. So, the ultimate value is this one. Or it's your own choice, there is no any harm in it. There is no any harm in it. By solving the debtors account, 3,25,000, 3,25,000, the balance what we have here is 3,22,500. We will go to the asset side of the balance sheet, so as debtors, the value being 3,22,500. Bad debts and nominal account will be eliminated. So, whatever the method you would have, this will be eliminated. And provision for doubtful debts. 28,125, 28,125. We end up with a balance of 16,125. That balance is supposed to be maintained. That's how the question is there, right? That amount is supposed to be maintained. Can be subtracted from the debtors account 16,125. And balance will be shown as a debtors balance. Is that okay? Come on, make a note of it. 8 marks. For this, it is 8 marks.